Hey everyone, this is Stephen Casey Ralph in here, and this video is going to be about a locomotive update regarding some of my Bachman locomotives. So, I have one that's brand new, and I also have a few that are, that are old that I plan on bringing back to the lab, which I'll cover that in a little bit. So, what I have here is a new Bachman locomotive that's actually pretty nice. It's pretty cheap, too. I mean, so, what I have here is a Suline GP40, so it's number 4603. So, I actually got this locomotive from the Bachman Parts store. So, basically, what I ordered was basically a fully assembled chassis that's powered and ready to run in the layout. And basically, the Sulang shell itself. So, basically, all I had to do was just put the shell on top of the locomotive and the, the shell on the chassis. I mean, so that's basically how it goes. And I'm real glad with how this. With what Bakken did is it's pretty good. They improved the G40 so better, a lot better. Like they put the separator, the molded in windshield wipers. You can see carefully. The handrails are nicely done. Easy made coupler. It came with an easy made coupler with the shell, and the chassis came with both the trucks and the fuel tank. So basically, they're all black. So and the painting scheme on this is actually really nicely done. Look at all the detail. There's the horn, everything, I'll show you the, the back side, looks nicely done too, and so I'm actually glad with how this turned out, so I got this for a DCC ready locomotive, it's so pretty cheap, so yeah, so now I'm going to run this locomotive for you guys to see how it runs, it actually runs pretty good. The headlight is actually really nice too, because I it looks like pretty much bulb lighting, but it doesn't matter. I'm not sure if that's bulb or LED, but it doesn't matter. It runs really nice and runs pretty quiet too. So yeah, so there you have it. That's basically the Sioux Line G40 I have. So I'll be running this more on the CP trains, like on locals or on some of the mixed sprays. And since I know that there's a couple of Sioux Line Jeeps are still around, but not the Jeep 40s, they're just mostly like the Jeep 38s. But I just got this one because I thought it'd be really nice to have this on my layout. So, anyways, that's gonna wrap it up for the new locomotive I have. So now let's move on to the older ones. All right. So what I have here inside this box. So basically, what I have here are just three old Bachman locomotives. These are some Bachman locomotives I've had since like middle school and such. Like I've been getting these from like my from like my aunts and uncles and stuff so they just got me a couple of and locomotives they're all old they're all Jeep locomotives so I'll show you all of them so one I have right here is a CSX GP40 in the y 3 b scheme so so that that's something I ordered off Amazon somewhere I got this off from high school and I haven't and I put it in storage for a while because I haven't been running it very much just because um, the fact that I don't really see CSX Jeeps around Kansas City so I put it in storage so that's one I have another one I have this is another local one I put in storage is a CN GP30-2 which is pretty cool so it's another Bachman and the other one is this one this the, the packaging is a little bit torn so this is a CSX YN2 GP38-2 so so it's right there so you may be wondering why am I planning to bring these back well I decided I'm going to be purchasing some new shells off the Bachman parts store so I'm going to be purchasing two I have plans to like get some GP38-2 shells for for both of these and a GP40 shell to replace them and then these shells will probably remain in storage for some time. I'm not sure if I'm going to sell them or anything. So, because as you know, CSX Jeeps are basically found on like CSX trackage, not around Kansas City. And same for the CN, so 
I'm just going to remove the shells and put new ones on that I get from the Bachman parts store. So, anyways, because once that's, once I get new shells for them, they'll be back on the layout and running again because I haven't been able to run these for a while. I think they run pretty nice. I'm not sure because it's been a while, so, yeah, so I'm looking forward to getting some new shells for these in the f sometime in the future. So I can run all three of these old locomotives back onto the layout. You know, like maybe I'll get some like NS, some BNSF, Santa Fe, or maybe some CP. I haven't decided yet, but I'll be working on that still. So, yeah. So, anyways, that's just going to be the, a little bit of the update on the older Bachman locomotives I have. That I, you know, had since like middle school and high school. So, anyways. That's all I have to say for now. Well, everyone, that's basically going to wrap up the video for today of the Bachman locomotive updates. Like, we covered over the Sioux Line Jeep, which is new to the layout, and as well as the four Jeep locomotives I have that are old, and I have plans to bring them back because I'm going to get new shells for them. So, yeah. So, anyways, that's going to wrap up for the video. I'll leave you guys with a run by of the Sioux Line locomotive in action, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.